guests. I, ne I normally never really drink this, but guests seem to like it, so I plan it for guests. So extra tea, tea in the bag, and tea in the bag, and tea, and tea, and tea. Long story short, good morning. You guys know I'm trying to do this thing where I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to this because it's quite intense, so it's bitter on the tongue. But my skin looks great. Do I feel great? No, I don't. I'm having a year. That is me. This is me. You know that that sound on TikTok. Yep, this is me. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> I'm having that kind of moment. And I will put up why I'm having that kind of moment. Because I danced yesterday. I was out celebrating Prudence's. Prudence is my best friend. And we were out celebrating with her, some of her friends, colleagues in Greenhouse in Santon last night. I walked into the house at 2 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I got nothing to say. <laughs> They're cold. <laughs> and I've got things I need to do work things it's a saturday but i've got work things that i need to just plan in my head today because i need to work tomorrow i want this thing i don't want this thing as of today yeah yeah in a minute a minute Ask me the same question this afternoon, like around five. <laughs> yeah, I shim. Bye bye. I'll talk to you guys later. I just need a moment to to collect and be okay. All right, I'll talk to you guys. Later. But it's clean, it'll do for now. This baby is super clean. We love her.
dry. My hands are dry. My hands are dry. Alright, let's restart this because it's been sleeping. Good morning, folks. It is uh, Wednesday today and I'm working from home. Typically, I would be working upstairs in the office, but it's cold in there. <laughs> the sun hasn't quite done its thing that side, so it's it's quite it's quite cold up there. So I decided rather to this blue light. So I decided to write, rather work from down here. Uh, I've got a couple of things that I need to do, and I've got some sessions this morning. Oh, actually, that reminds me, I need to uh, uh, message one of my clients. And then I've got a session this afternoon. So I'm doing a lot of my admin stuff now. And then I'll be in sessions pretty much this whole afternoon, which is a lot. But I'm trying to get those in today because I'm off tomorrow and Friday. Tomorrow and Friday, tomorrow is my grandmother's birthday. Friday is my birthday. So... <laughs> uh, I feel some type of way about my birthday this year I'm not too crazy about it honestly that's an honest response I'm not too crazy about it I love being older I am in the prime of my life I enjoy this stage of my life um, I wasn't too crazy about my 20s I feel more settled and secure and sure of myself, sure of who I am, what I am, what I want now than I ever have, ever in my life, really. So for me, getting older is not something I'm afraid of or something that frightens me. It really isn't. Getting older for me is... Is, is, a, is really truly a blessing, but also at the same time, it's, um, it's a very solid time of my life for me. So I'm happy about that. Am I looking forward to my birthday? No, absolutely not. <laughs> um, and that's just genuinely because my whole life I've had to, I've celebrated my birthday along with my grandmother's. And this is really hard to explain, but I'll try and explain it. As much as that is a blessing, that my grandmother was born a day before me all those years ago. My grandmother was born in 1939. So she, she grown, grown. <laughs> but it also says she's the matriarch of the family. So when her birthday rolls around, the central focus becomes around her birthday. So I've always jointly celebrated my birthday with my family specifically, celebrated my birthday with my grandmothers. So it would always be like, oh, my Goko's birthday and Katlo's birthday is coming up. What are we going to do for them? So I've never really had, oh man, I can maybe mention a few years where um, my birthday was, was for me, where I celebrated it, where people celebrated me on that day and not necessarily me and my grandmother, like my 21st birthday, or if I was traveling around that time and I was traveling for myself, you know, for my birthday to celebrate that. But typically if my birthday rolls around and I'm around my family and my friends and all of this, uh, specifically my family, the birthday normally gets boxed in with my grandmother's birthday, which I love and appreciate, but at the same time, I also want my birthday to myself, and I want to be celebrated outside of my grandmother for my birthday. I don't know if that sounds selfish, but if you've been on this earth for 37 years, well, 37 on Friday, years of your life, it kind of gets a little bit too much. And if maybe I was celebrating a birthday with a cousin or a sibling, that's, I think that would be a little bit different because it's not with the matriarch of the family. You hear my chat? Like with the matriarch, everybody will make it about the matriarch. You hear what I'm saying? So, um, ooh. but so for me, um, I'm not, there's nothing crazy to look forward to. 
apart from uh, spending time with my grandmother tomorrow and then I absolutely don't know what I want to do for my birthday this year. Last year I went to Olives and Plates and I said I'm going to go by myself and my sister was like absolutely not, I'm coming with you. So I enjoyed that day. I was out with my sister and I think we were out the whole day. We went to Olives and Plates and then we did something else and then we did something else. But I kind of spent my day with my sister, which was really nice. And I uh, don't take that for granted at all. Uh, but this year I really don't know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I wanted to travel. Um, I was supposed to be traveling with my friends and also do something solo with myself. And then some work came in. And because the work came in, my father's calling me. Hello. How long time for knitting? The intercom I disabled. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, Katie. I'm on my fourth cup of tea. <laughs> And it's only 11 a.m. Third, third cup of tea, third cup of tea. My hands are dry. I just wanted to have a conversation with you. I just said that I came off a, a call with my sister. And what I took from that call, we were talking about work and campaigns that we both have coming up. And hopefully, if everything goes well, uh, if they sign off on our figures and all of that. But... What I took from that conversation, and I want to share it with you, is don't ever, ever, ever sell yourself short. If you are a content creator in business, if you just work a normal nine to five, if you are a consultant in relationships, in your friendships, if you know how good you are as a person, as a friend, if you know that you show up for your friends, you're always there for your friends. If you know how you show up for a relationship, you're always there for the relationship. In business, life, family, professional, interpersonal relationships, when you know what you bring to the situation, don't ever sell yourself short. Don't ever sell yourself short. If there's one thing I used to do, especially in the content space, and my sister is the one who, who put me, this, when it comes to working with brands, and my sister is the one who, who put me onto this, which is something that I used to do. I don't do it anymore. I haven't done it for a while, but I used to do starting out. I would always, I wouldn't mind taking on tons and tons of trade exchanges. Like, oh, I don't mind. I don't mind sharing somebody's business. I don't mind somebody sending me something. I still don't, honestly. And I would love to do it in support of black businesses. If, like, somebody is, uh, they've got a product that they want to share or to uh, send out to the world and whatever, and you want to send me something, use me. It's fine if you feel like, being showing your products on my channel and all of that will give you ex exposure especially to black businesses use me but with big companies that we do campaigns with and all of that uh i used to sell myself short a lot i would undercharge i would do trade exchanges with really big companies and i didn't mind and but my numbers would be growing at that time and then I started charging. And then when I started charging, only very, very far in would I realize that I'm actually undercharging for the numbers that I have. And my sister is the one who notified me with that. And I saw some uh, YouTube videos, TikTok videos that give you some sort of indication of how you can charge per your following. And per the reach that you have and engagement and all of that. And I realized that I used to sell myself short. A lot. I would sell myself short in, in workspaces. I would sell myself short with friendships. I would always be kind of understanding that it's okay. Like, she's my friend. She's my friend. And certain behaviors, even with friends, are unacceptable. And I had to grow into learning that, and I'm, con I'm, I'm constantly unlearning those unhealthy behaviors that I allowed to happen in those spaces, professionally, relationshipically, friendshipically, 
family Kelly, you know, those aren't words, but you hear my chat. Um, so I just want to come on here to remind you or to tell you to never ever sell yourself short. When you know how good you are at something, show the world how good you are, but also show the world that they'd have to bet on you for them to see how good you are. And when they bet on you, they bet on you by your terms. You know what I'm saying? When you want to, if you're a great person in your friendship, be a great person, but also have your boundaries up. Your friends need to know that there's certain things that are unacceptable. There's certain things that should they do those things, you guys are never going to survive from that or whatever. They should know that even though they might have differing opinions to you, that's fine. Just because your opinion is different to mine doesn't make mine wrong, okay? And doesn't make yours right. And just bet on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Never, ever, 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 ever sell yourself short. If there's one thing that I've realized with me, that's what I used to do. In my, well, in my relationships, I kind of stopped doing that a while ago. But I realized in, 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 in my friendships, because I have that extra, oh, but it's my friend, you know? Whereas, whereas in relationships, it's like, look, it's cool, man. School. I, I'm not going to be okay with this. And if you're not okay with this, and we're not going to be okay with this. And if we can't reach some kind of compromise, it's cool. It's fine. We go our own ways. But I, I, I struggled to do that with family and friends. And also sometimes in my workplace as well. You know, um, I would let people talk to me some type of way, even though I'm a senior to them. Well, that kind of stopped a while ago as well. But the point I'm trying to make is... Don't ever sell yourself short. Bet on yourself all the time. But also bring it. You know what I'm saying? But also bring it. I was having a conversation with a cousin of mine over the weekend. And we were talking about the stigma that's surrounding kids who come from wealthy or well-off homes or whatever. And I know that it's been a, it's something that I've never talked about on my channel. It's been a thing that, you know, Naledi and Katleo on social media, Naledi and Katleo come from a rich family, come from a this, 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 blah, blah, blah. And the stigma that's attached to kids from, of like us who come from families that are all right, well off. I wouldn't say rich, but rich is relative to in everybody. But the stigma that's attached to that is that the kids that come from those kinds of families, you know, they, they, they don't know the value of putting in hard work and, 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 and pushing yourself and all of that because things supposedly come so easy to them. What is not spoken about is that the other end, because that is true, that one part is true for some, but the other end of the spectrum is then the kids from the very same families will also work extra hard because they see what their family has and what blah, 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 they want it for themselves. Uh, I remember a comment, somebody commented, on one of my YouTube videos and said, you know, I want your life. You have such a nice house. You have such a nice job. Da, 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 da. And I remember saying, I think I commented and I said, be careful what you wish for. Because as much as I may have the life that I have, I'm working three jobs and no one, I don't talk much about how stressful that is. It's my birthday week and I am working. I didn't want to be working. I literally wanted to take Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. But I have to work. I have to be talking to the brands. I have to be doing this. I have to be doing this. I can't. I, I'm, I'm up at night doing content plans. I'm up at night uh, doing... Uh, going through my notes for my client sessions. I'm at work during the day. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just that all oh, kids from these kinds of families that it, the, the opposite end of the spectrum is kids from these kinds of families also work their asses off. Not many of them, but they do. They work their asses off. And I'm going to include me and my sister in that, in that bracket, you know, because I just feel like uh, um, just because we come from a certain background, people tend to think that we have it easy and we don't. I think given the dad and mom that we have, work has always been 
the standard order of the day. You want to live a certain life, you work your ass off for it. You know what I'm saying? You literally, you don't sleep if you don't have to sleep, you know? So, uh, yeah. I don't know how I, how, I, how I diverted to that part of the chat, but I think I'm going to go back to the first part that just don't ever sell yourself short. People must bet on you. They have to bet on you and say that, you know what, we believe she's going to do the work. We believe that she's great at what she does. We believe this, this, that, and the other. I need to check. I'm on the clock. Hang on. We believe that she's great, this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of always have to... Crazy business. <laughs> Hey friends, hey, so I need to get ready quickly because I am going to go see a client to coach and because it's my first time meeting this client, my lips are so dark, they've always been darker than my face to be honest, but um, because it's the first time that I'm meeting this client, I need to go there, you know, presentable with a face on and all of this, uh, typically when I have been with the client for a number of uh, sessions and all of that most sessions I'll go with a blank canvas sometimes but uh, today because it's a first time session I present professionally um, not necessarily with my clothes I want my clients to feel as comfortable as possible so I don't really go up all dressed up it's not my thing like today is super cold so I'm going to wear my track pants with just a nice pair of boots. But then I'm going to do my face just to look a little bit presentable. Like, hey, girl. Hi. So I need to get that ready. I'm not going to film myself doing a makeup routine. But I seem to get questions about doing a makeup routine. Not a lot, but every now and again, like, Kat, could you please do a makeup routine? Kat, could you please? So let me know. Right now, if you're watching this and you're watching it on the TV, pull out your phone quickly and comment in the comment section below if you want to see me do a makeup routine. But before I go, my phone is, my camera is already on 13%. I wanted to show you one or two things that I got from the ARC store. But before I show you those, I did pick up other things from Woolies. Woolies, and I wanted to try them, especially this one. And I don't know, maybe... If I might want to try this one today. This is the Woolies Beauty Glow Whoa. Whoa, Glow Whoa Illuminating Skin Tint. And I got it in dark. And I really want to try this today. I don't know how it's going to go, girl. You better wish me luck, girl, because I don't know how it's going to go. For a first time thing, I might mix it a little bit with my foundation. Who knows? But we'll see. Um, if you do want a makeup tutorial, maybe I'll try it with that. Who knows? Uh, then I got a little hydrating skin mist that's, there it is, that's small enough to fit in my bag, which is nice. Well, my slightly bigger bags, not my tiny bags. Um, so I wanted to try this one out. I don't even know how it smells. Oh, came my way. Came my way. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells lovely, even though it's, <laughs> it smells lovely. Okay. And then from ARC, I picked up... Fanny, we picked up something from Fanny and some pencils, not from ARC, definitely not from ARC, but I picked up um, the gloss bomb, I've always been a big fan of the gloss bomb, I've got the heat one that my sister gave me sometime last year, but I didn't like how it makes my, that tingling sensation, makes my lips feel really funny, so I just picked up this, the, the, the gloss bomb in number six which is gloss the gloss bomb in number six which is gloss slipper so it's just a plain plain little you know gloss i mean you guys should know by now you should know that i'm a gloss lover and then the other thing that i picked up which i want to also try today is the match sticks so this is the matte contour stick and i picked it up in mocha and i love to contour around here when I'm applying makeup or rather just like a deep bronzing powder so I don't have a contour stick so I decided to pick this up and give it a try that's how it looks it looks slightly but it is slightly darker when I tried it on in the in the store it is slightly darker so I'm going to try this on 
today. I'm not going to have enough battery life to show you. Maybe I'll do the face and then as soon as I'm done with the face, I will just come back and show you what it looks like. It's going to be very quick because I need to get out of here. Okay, don't be surprised. I put on a little bit of concealer, but I wanted to check this out real quick. What does it say? Okay, so it's a, it's a, when I tried it in the store, you can see that it's got a bit of a glow to it. So I don't think it's something that I can oh, put on without foundation. I don't think so. I think. Mm-hmm. Now I'm just removing my... Oh, no, that wasn't a good idea. I think... Ooh, but it's got that glow, child. Yes, it does. It's moving off all my... Shucks. My concealer to cover up. So this is something you definitely put... Mix into your foundation. Or just put just that. Because it's got a glow. Can you see the glow? Jeez. It's got a glow to it, but it definitely needs to be mixed in with a bit of foundation. So tell. The sun is doing crazy things outside and it's cold. It's so cold. Yeah, but it's that it's that fake sun. That sun that's just like mm -hmm. we know Rowena, you're not real for nothing. Yeah, it looks alright. I'm not trying to let me continue and I'll be back with everything on, but definitely needs foundation or just apply just the product itself that don't say i never told you quick look see that's the outfit got on some uh, steve man and rudy's there they are love the grunge but also just black slacks i need to get out of here in the next five minutes but yeah that's my look no, I mean. the package that just came in i haven't even done my lips yet don't mind me the package that just came in, of course, Jonathan Ball Publishers, because they love me. <laughs> and I love them, today. So let's see what books came in. I'm really excited about this, so let's have a look. Oh, Coco Mellers. She is the one behind um, Grace and Frankie. No, not Grace and Frankie, that's the show. Frankenstein. I'll put the book here. I've forgotten the title, but this is the new book. I'm so excited. And it's called Blue Sisters. Look at that cover. Look at that cover. Oh, I'm very excited about this. And this is The Library Thief by Kuchenga Shenge. Okay, I don't know about this one, but we will have a look at it. I gotta go. My battery is dead, so. I'll see you guys a little bit later, okay? We'll talk in the car.